How's everyone doing? I haven't uploaded on here forever, so I thought what better than to upload the Battle of the Week, Season 2, Week 8, uh, Derwin vs. Happy Star, Monotype, Match, yes, it's a very fun tier, and <laughs> I get a very frontier, Battle Frontier, okay. <laughs> and Derwin is infamous for using Mono Normal, and Heather is going to bring Mono Ghost, and unreleased abilities and items and such are enabled in this tier so it's gonna be quite interesting let me just tell you right off the bat that it, this battle is actually very very hacksy and you're gonna see a lot of hacks so let's get started so Dorwin leads out with his toad kiss as other start leads out with her frost last now this frost last has cursed body which will disable Togekiss's ancient power. So now Derwin is forced to switch out into his Meloetta, which carries the Shadow Ball, which is really, really useful, and Derwin does not want to lose Meloetta. Now Sableye comes in, uh, just going for the Confuse Ray, because it does have that Prince ability, and also burns this Porygon for some residual damage, uh, racking up with Confusion Axe. However, Porygon does not play around and he really doesn't care about Confusion Axe because he goes right ahead and gets a crit on the Thunderbolt. Now Galler comes in trying to rock polish and outspeed whatever Derwin has, but Derwin sends out Chinchino, which can bullet seed uh, to uh, take out that Galler. So Heather Star saw that Galler wasn't fast enough and switched right out, and now Chandelure is going to predict that bullet seed and get a crit on the flamethrower so that makes up for the previous crit from now on you guys probably aren't going to be able to keep up with the crits uh... and what made up for what because it's really not going to matter sometimes and just crits crits are crits and hacks are hacks and you can't really follow up with it anyways uh, so the dynamic punch takes the stoutland out it's obviously a defensively invested stoutland because it did live the Dynamic Punch, but wasn't able to break through the Confusion Hacks. Anyways, the Ancient Power doesn't do anything on the Scholar. Just, I guess Derwin is father foddering this Togekiss out. And also, the Magic Guard could have bounced back the burn on the Jellicent, which was pretty lucky. But Jellicent does have that recover. And also, Jellicent is a very important... Pokemon in this battle because it has a lot of special defense bulk. So, yeah. Anyways, finally, the Stone Edge takes the Togekiss out. That is one bulky Togekiss. Ancient Power, you know, didn't get the super boost. Never did. Doesn't really matter because Meloetta comes in now, goes for the Shadow Ball, doesn't take the Galark out, and. Derwin just does not want to lose that Meloetta, so he switches in the Imposter Ditto and lives like 1%. Oh my god, he... Ugh, so lucky. <laughs> so I don't know if that was Min or Max or what, but Derwin did indeed get very lucky. So, Predicted Earthquake, Gengar comes in, it's a sub-disable set. The this, this disable misses, which is really unfortunate for Heather Star. But Derwin switches out anyways, seeing that uh, Gengar is just going to go for another sub. And knowing that Ditto will indeed outspeed the Gengar, Derwin goes for the Shadow Ball after you know, the Imposter and the Transformation. So now that Ditto's dead, Derwin can go into Meloetta, just go for that revenge kill and he gets a crit on the Gallic which really doesn't matter. Heather Star was foddering the Gallic out. Now Jellison comes in, special defensively bulky, and predicts that Shadow Ball goes for the recover, but hey, Durbin switches out to Porygon and gets a crit on the Jellison. That decided the game, yes, yeah, so because the Jellicent could have possibly recover stalled I mean, a crit could have come in at any time, but so now Heather Star is just just subbing and trying to stall that Porygon with the burn on the Porygon. Now the Gengar could have taken the Meloetta out here with the Focus Blast. However, the Focus Blast missed, 
and that is um, pretty much a good game because Heather Star hits that forfeit button knowing that the Smelloweta outspeeds and uh, yeah good game lots of hacks lots of hacks and yeah that was the monotype match for the battle of the week this week thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys later bye